What's good, team exclusive, and welcome back to, yes, you've guessed it, day number six of overpriced SPC day of the week. I wonder who we're going to be today. It's actually going to be quite an interesting day because there's quite a few things we've got to uh, get through. First things first, I've spent pretty much the, the past two days grinding the icon swap. So we've got icon, a base icon pack to do today. So if you want to stick around for that, that'll be after we've had a look at the player SPC. Um, and what well, you can see here, I've got 27,000 points in squad battles, which is very uncommon because I don't usually play them. Uh, and yeah, that was the literally the most boring thing in the entire world, playing world-class squad battles. It was horrendous. Um, I hated it. But uh, yeah, so we've got an icon pack, got a few packs in store. We've got uh, obviously the player SBC um, and some other stuff. So let's jump in, see what we're going to have today. It's going to be an Italian striker. It's going to be Politano. Very interesting because, um, well, first thing first is obviously... They've gone through the, the entire leagues. They've obviously gone through uh, Ligue 1 with Marquinhos and Saudi with Syria. We've had, um, who do we have? We had Bailey uh, from the Bundesliga. Then we had uh, Gaia from Liga Santander. And of course, we had Aaron Wambasaka from the Premier League. So I thought, would they go back to, um, to Ligue 1? But they've just gone to Syria. So I'm not sure exactly what the theme is going on. I'll have to have a look at that. But he does require two, two squads. Don't think it's too terrible. I mean, it's a good looking card in fairness, position changed from um, right mid to striker. Um, good looking card, there's not really much to say about it. I mean, he's got great pace, good shooting, like really good shooting for a striker. Um, good passing as well and really good dribbling. Strength obviously is very low, it's not what you want to see, but stamina is good. And yeah, can't really argue with that. This is um, high medium, four star, four star, five seven. So not very tall obviously, but he's not going to win any headers, not that you'd want to. Um, High, high, medium, left footed. That's a, a very nice looking card. Actually, finesse shot. All, all the stuff in the right places. But how expensive is it going to be? Is it going to be overpriced SBC of the week? 83 and 85. Oh, okay. 83 with the team of the week. And an 85 rated squad. Again, packs back are, are pretty garbage. I mean, gold players, I suppose, not bad. But it's pretty tragic. And then Prime Electrum, it's just... I, I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess, but it's just not, uh, it's not brilliant, is it? It's not brilliant, but an 85 and an 83 with a team of, uh, team of the week. I actually think that's very good value. To be fair, for what years, if you've got a Serie A squad and uh, you're in desperate need of a, a fairly pacey striker, I think he's, you know, he's pretty good. But I think the, the problem is there's a lot of other options. He's 85 rated. You could go with, um, you know, Chiro Immobile. I think he's still here, isn't he? We'll have a quick look at him. Uh, obviously got the Gaia. Where are we? Uh, has he expired? Was it Sergio Aguero? Um, unless I've missed him. Oh, okay, maybe he's expired. I don't know. Maybe I missed him. But either way, the point still stands. Is there's quite a few other strikers you could go for, like you know, um, Mertens. I suppose he's quite good. I don't really know too many Serie A strikers. Um, but I think there's there's plenty of competition out there that you could probably go for that's equal or better to him. I think his strength is probably the biggest point that's going to let him down. Is he's just going to get bullied off the ball with 45 strength. It's just not going to be not going to be that great. But um, yeah, he's got pace, he's got shooting, he's got okay passing and dribbling. So I, I think he's um, it's actually quite cheap for what he is. Maybe he's, I don't know, what, 85, an 85 squad, what would that be? I don't know, maybe like 100k. So maybe he's like 150 kind of mark I'd say I'd say he's probably about 150 and I, I don't know maybe it's a little bit much I guess it'd be nice if it was just like 185 or 84 rated squad with an inform that'd be probably be a lot better but is I think maybe slightly overpriced again for what it is so interesting stuff we do want to have a look at the um freeze challenge today because where are we so freeze challenge obviously that was yesterday's which i didn't do because it was pointless jumbo premium gold pack for like a full gold squad is just ridiculous and the mega pack today so they are definitely up in the game what you have to do to complete the mega pack you need leagues maximum four players from the same nation region maximum five players from one club minimum three res two so that's much better value again if we compare this to i know you're probably sick of me doing this but uh compare it to the requirements for last time 75 rated you know same kind of stuff leagues nations whatever 
but 75 rated squad for this or a 77 rated squad for a mega pack it's like you know <laughs> i don't know it's uncomparable but either way at least they're you know giving us something half decent so once again as per day number six we are going to go away complete this and i'll be back in two seconds and there we go so actually a very very easy squad um yeah uh i don't i mean there's not really much to say about it to be fair it's uh it's very very easy obviously one league you need maximum four and you just go with one league i actually wonder if i can swap out navigator for anybody can there we go okay made it a little bit a little bit nicer on myself so he's not using too many of those um ucl cards but yeah so very easy squad just build one one league as long as you've got um Four clubs in there, which we've got Everton, uh, which we've got Olsen, Hammers, and Bernard. So, easy stuff and very simple mega pack. I really think it's uh, very worth going for it because you never know what you get. You never, never know. And the same could be said for like those um, rare player picks because I did a couple today. If you're not following me on Twitter, do uh, do go and do that. It should be obviously linked in the video. I'll, I'll put it up now on the screen. Um, and you can check out all the pack pools when I get them, if I get them because I don't always record all of them. But I did a couple today, and we got this man right here. It's on my Twitter, so you can go check it out. It's all legit, but like, yeah, he just popped out out of a rare player pick, one of those 80 plus things, and it's just it's just mental. I've done so many, so I'm not trying to flex. I've done so many, and this is probably the best pool we've got. He is like, what is he, like 400k? Obviously untradeable, doesn't matter. But yeah, he well, he's actually about 600k. Mental. I think the best player besides him was uh, Tony Cruz, and uh, yeah, he's not worth anything. But yeah, finally we actually got something good, so um, it's well worth uh, dropping a follow if you want to check out any half decent pack pools we get. Like I said, I don't always record them, so um, yeah, it goes up on there. But obviously, now is the time of the day. I have to actually accept them first. I um, yeah, grinded out squad battles, all those kind of friendly games uh, to finally get all the icon swap tokens i i i'm gonna do the icon pack now because i could obviously do the um the 83 25 pack or something uh but i'm gonna save that for the next set because i feel like ea are gonna make it a lot harder um the next time around to get the next 10 because yeah a lot of people obviously the community banded together and did the whole golden goal rule whether or not you agree with it or not a lot of people um did that and i think it's really good so i can see ea kind of clamping down and uh, and stopping that but uh, yeah so we're going to do the icon pack now and uh, depending how many icon tokens we get next time we'll do um we'll do the other ones so where is it there we are eight tokens for this one sweet you love to see it i cannot wait hopefully i'm hoping we get something good it doesn't really matter it's uh it's not taking a whole lot to actually get these so very um very good stuff so we'll stick these in all, all, all of them hopefully we don't get uh, as long as we don't get maradona um as long as we don't get maradona um i've forgotten his name the dutch center back coman as long as we don't get coman maradona or is my third icon did i have a third icon oh no i've only got two haven't i so as long as you don't get Maradona or Komen, I think we're okay. We should be a-okay. It's not really, to be fair, there's not really anybody I actually need in my team. My team is like stacked already. But if we got like, if we get a midfield, if we got a midfielder icon, like a CDM, somebody half decent, like, you know, potentially like um, Rijkaard, obviously not that one, but if we did get somebody like Rijkaard, I'd be quite happy. Um, the, the player I really want, and I know I'm kind of putting myself into a box here, is Dino, Ronaldinho. That's who I want the most, to be honest. But uh, we're going to open the Mega Packs first, see what we get. Should probably save them, but I really don't really care too much. So, first Mega Pack of the day. Not going to be a walkout. It's going to be a board, though. We'll skip it, because we do not care. Do not care. It's going to be Vatonga. That's quite nice, actually, to be fair. And 83, you do love to see it. Quite a lot of um, players as well, which... Obviously, we can't sell, but uh, okay, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Got Falk. Is he tradable? He is. Okay, get rid of those. Right, nice. Come on, let's see the walkout. Let's see the walkout. Can it be, or could it be a freeze player? That'd be quite nice. It is a walkout. Let's go. Ooh, it's an informed walkout. French. Left mid. 
Bamba? Hey, 84 Bamba, that's pretty sick. I didn't even know he was Team of the Week. Let's go. Could there be anybody else in the pack as well? So far there's not, but that's quite a nice pull to be fair. An 84 Bamba. Surely he's not 800k. Surely he's not 800k. Is that a new Team of the Week as well? Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I did forget they were releasing the new Team of the Week, so that probably is the case. Um, and we'll get rid of that. Okay. So there must be a new Team of the Week. Okay, we'll go have a quick look at that. Before we do that, I know I'm kind of teasing and cucking everybody, but uh, I just want to have a quick look. So there is a new Team of the Week. I uh, Yeah, wow, okay. So we've got Bamba, Kunde, Ginter, nice. Tavenia, very deserved, I think. Lozano, third in form. Got Tony Cruz in form, wow. Olmo, Mkhitaryan, 88. Jamie Vardy, holy. Benedetto, nice, okay. <laughs> in form, Keem, love to see it. You love to see it, wow. There's nobody else really that amazing. I, mean, I suppose, yeah, there's only a few really, really good players in that. Obviously, Tony Cruz, in form, Lozano, um, Vardy and Tavenia. He looks really good as well. Very, very good looking card. You know, put a shadow on him. He, he's incredible. But yeah, you love to see it. Wow, nice. Okay. So we, uh, yeah, we just pulled out one of the new Team of the Weeks. You love to see it. So that's everything. We're not going to waste any time today. We're going to jump straight in. Smash it open. Come on. Let's see that Brazilian flag. Let's see that Brazilian flag. Ooh. <laughs> you know who it's going to be. The moment you see that, you know who it's going to be. But, uh, damn. Okay. I mean, in fairness, in fairness, he is, one, he is somebody I actually wanted, to be fair. He is somebody I actually wanted to get. Um, of course, it's a Kocha. We all knew it's a Kocha. Nigerian flag. Who else is it going to be? Not the most ideal player we could have got. He's not very expensive. He is about 400k. So, you know, I, I guess that's a small L. You know, it is from the icon swap, so who really cares? But um, yeah, it, it's a cotcher. There's not really much to, to shout about. Four star weak foot, five star skills, very, very nice. Five for eight, medium low. Um, probably would have preferred his cap. I don't know, actually. In the certain setup I've got, his right mid actually probably would be better for me, but obviously his cam is a lot better. Uh, great pace, you know, shooting is something to be desired, definitely. Passing, it's not, it's not brilliant, it's pretty poor. Uh, dribbling is obviously top tier. Strength and stamina is a bit, it's a bit low, so not the best icon. Not the best icon. Um, I'm sorry to, to disappoint everybody and myself, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. It's the roll of the dice. Can't always get the best best players, can you? You can't always get the best players. Ah, uh, jeez. But at least we didn't get a duplicate, so I suppose that is quite nice. Um, let's go and stick him in our thing. So very cool. Very cool. Where is it at? JJ Akocha. Yeah. But I mean, I, I've been using Pepe, as you can see there. I bought his uh, his uh, team of the tournament, whatever you call it, uh, Europa League team of the tournament. And uh, yeah, he's all right, I suppose. It's pretty good. But at least now I can sell him, I suppose. And then uh, use our untradeable JJ Akocha. Uh, very, very nice. So let's, uh, let's have a quick look at, um, oh, who is it? It's uh, Politano. Mate, Matu, Matu, Mate. Have a look at Politano. So he's coming in at 159k. Um, it probably settled about 100, between about 130, 150, that kind of mark. So it wasn't too far off in fairness. But I don't know, to be fair. Like, the thing about him is there's so many other players that I think are well, actually, have a look at um, similar players that are very, very similar to him. Uh, obviously, you've got Mertens. See how much he is. Uh, Vidra, which I've got, which I think is very, very good. But let's see if there's any. So Dybala, 
very similar. Correa, Lukaku as well. Um, Martial, he's quite he's quite cheap. He's about like 60, 50, 60k, that kind of mark. Obviously, you could, you could always just go with somebody like Rodrigo here. Um, and even though he's 82 rated, you know, not quite got the stats of uh, Politano, he's a beast. Anyway, and especially if you picked up his ones to watch, he's potentially going to get upgraded in the future. Um, you know, so... I think there's options. Gabriel Jesus, much cheaper. We'll have a quick, quick look how much he actually is well. Obviously, there's, there's icons as well, which are popping up here, but um, they're generally a bit too expensive. Even Aubameyang, I think, is probably about the same price and very similar. So, Dries Mertens, his uh, rule break is obviously quite expensive, but let's have a look at his base. So, his base, again, I think got very similar stats to um, Politano. So, 89, 86, 82, 88. Um, Let's have a look. So 86, 82, 80, 89. So yeah, very similar. He's 12k. So I mean, I don't know. Same rating, same team. It's like I don't know. It just seems a bit. It's a bit expensive. It's a bit expensive. It is a nice card. It's a bit expensive. Even like Dybala, I think is probably a better card. 89, 86, 82. He's got 85, 85, 84. You know, better strength, all that kind of stuff. Not by not by a long way, but he has got better better physicals and obviously better dribbling. He's He's like a third of the price. So you're much better off just going for somebody like this. Um, uh, obviously, it depends. It depends what you're looking for. Correa, he was an objective, wasn't he? Um, that kind of sucks. But even his base card is quite nice. And that's 100,000 coins. So there's there's plenty of options. Like Lukaku, pretty much the same price. Give or take a few thousand coins. You could even probably do his inform. But um, if you're really after that pace, that's probably the way to go. His inform is 40k. Um, his base card is 15 and his rule break is, is 175 or 200 depends which platform and it's got a very similar card um, again it all depends what, what you want for your team Gabriel Jesus again I think is equal if not probably better in this game and he's four and a half five thousand coins currently what is yeah that's way too much way too much and Aubameyang is you know again better I didn't really like him I played him a little bit I didn't really like him because he's a bit he's a bit unagile. But again, it'll do a job for 65,000 coins. Um just it's just crazy, really. But there we are. So another overpriced SBC of the week. Again, like no credit away from this being a really good card. It does look like a really good card, besides the whole strength issue. Um, it is a good card. It's got everything you need for a striker. Pace, shooting, dribbling, you know, bit of passing. It's not brilliant. Obviously, a chem style would would boost it up if we put like Hawk, not a hawk. We want uh, what is it? Is it artist? I mean, artist would boost his dribbling. Not that he needs it. Uh, that I. It is. I can't remember which one it was. Um, catalyst. There we are. So obviously boosting up his pace to incredible pace, and then he's got you know almost perfect uh, perfect passing. Again, there's plenty of options you could probably do for him. I wanted the one. Yeah. So that does shooting and. Um, and passing so engine's quite a good one as well to be fair boost up the dribbling passing to quite a nice level and obviously really really good pace um maestro's not a bad option as well boosting up those other areas not that he really needs pace i think it's a bit maybe a bit wasted but the sprint speed is is only 88 so if you're really reliant on pace then maybe that might be an issue um but that's quite a good option as well i suppose you know boost that shooting and uh, and physicals I, I don't know. I think it's a bit of a waste boosting up, boosting up his physicals. If you do do this card, it just, um, I don't know. I just don't think it will do a whole lot. Just don't think it will do a whole lot. Um, what was... Is it Architect? Yeah. So, I mean, you could you could go with Architect. That could be quite a good option as well. Obviously, get up that passing to a really, really nice level. 98, 85, uh, 93 curve, 91 vision. Very, very nice. And then... Um, have his strength up to 60, so very respectable. Not brilliant in any in any shape of the form. Obviously, my head kind of in the way, but there we go. So, um, yeah, quite a nice level and boost up his aggression as well. But yeah, like I said, I don't know. The thing is, you could you could play him at Cam, and he probably would be quite good as well. But maybe not so much as a strike, obviously, as he's 90 rated here as a Cam. Could be slightly better option. However, there we go. So that's overpriced SBC of the week, day number six done. Uh, Politano. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of this card. Do you think it's do you think it's good? 
Do you think it's uh, priced fairly or unfairly this time? 150k for a 85 striker, which has uh, you know plenty of competition. Like I said, like I showed you with the options like Mertens, Lukaku, that kind of stuff. There's so many options. Even Aubameyang is down in the, the 60s. 60,000 coins for for an 87 Aubameyang is mental. And uh, yeah, so, so good. I don't know. And the thing is, like even players like Ben Yedder or Martial or Jesus, you know, they're just as good, if not better, than somebody priced at 150k for an SPC. And, and the, the packs you get anyway are pretty garbage, so it really is pointless. But do let me know in the comment section below, are you going to be doing it? Um, but yeah, so I definitely won't. It's 150k that I could spend somewhere else on a potential Adama Traore that might come out. Everybody seems to want him. I don't know why, because he's going to be like 4 million coins when he does come out. I don't know why everybody wants Adama Traore as an SBC. No one's going to be able to get him. You know EA, EA are going to put him at like, you know, 1.2 million coins coins for the SBC. It's crazy. Anyway, with that said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. If you want to see more of this content, hit the subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. Um, but with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Till tomorrow for day number seven or overpriced SBC of the week. Can't wait.